One of the reasons why I do like K-pop is that ever since, like, I actually started, like, going into, like, the history of K-pop and finding out that it was definitely inspired by black people, that sparked more of my interest. One of the reasons is because I'm a person that knows that black culture is very, very needed. And I would say the world, but let's just keep it to music. Black culture is very, very needed. Without the niggas, without niggas, they wouldn't be nothing for real. Or y'all would probably would just come up with whatever the hell y'all want to. But there's a lot of things, a lot of implications, a lot of pieces in, in the K-pop that is inspired by black folks. I like that. I love that. It seems like us Negroes, us coloreds, these are crazy words to say, but it, it, it makes me feel in my heart that black people are recognized and not ignored. But it comes to a point where some people try to think and say like, or if you bring up like this was inspired by black folks, people will deny that as if like it's not prevalent in many ways in music as a whole. You know what I'm saying? But this is a video by Yoshi Fied. I saw this this morning while taking a poo. And it's titled K-pop songs that are heavily inspired by black artists slash culture because K-pop stands are anti-black. I don't know what I don't know what type of argument Yoshi Fied got into. But the the thumbnail says it says keep K-pop Korean. I don't know really because when I was thinking of Soteji and Boys and that one that one like it was that one that that one performance when they were all in them baggy ass clothes like the '90s stuff and I'm just like sometimes I'm thinking like why can't just black folks and K-pop just coincide? Y'all already stole from us, or let's say inspired. Y'all were inspired by us, so why not just coincide and everybody make that money in? and there, and we could just create beautiful music then maybe that could be too much to ask for but hey Oh, you did it in Black History Month. Oh, shout out to you. Sorry, I'm a month late. <laughs> it's dumb two months late. Ah. Okay, shout out to you. <laughs> hey, Yoshifa, I don't know if you black. I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a style. I don't know if you black, but I appreciate this gang. I really appreciate this. Okay, guys, a lot of crap took place this month. The Seraphim Black model situation, the smart controversy. I'm um, literally, yesterday I saw someone say that Hyunjin joined the gang because he was dancing with three black men at a luxury event, mind you. Mm. Like, why do y'all hate black people? I'm honestly asking because what the fuck? I just feel like this video had to be made because some humbling needs to be done. Unacceptable behavior. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, like I said in my video, I could just use every song that has a rap verse in it because who created rap? Black Americans. <laughs> Thank you. But I don't have the phone for that nor the energy. Down from the dancing, the, the styling to the hairstyling, even to the black sense because some people in this video do got black sense. <laughs> it's black people written all over it. And I need K-pop stands to start giving black people their flowers. Happy Black History Month to my fellow black people. Oh, you's a nigga. Wait, are you? Fuck, I don't know. Is you a nigga? Are you black? Oh! Ah! Wow! Oh, and also, I just want to let you know, if y'all niggas, if y'all really want to get in a, a conversation, I just want to say, if people in the comments of this video or in the video right now or in any other type of video want to have a discussion about playing semantics when it comes to if black folks did this if this was inspired by black people listen just keep in mind that or just 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 understand the fact that the research that you may have known or what you have been told, the possibility of it being altered because, you know, the, 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 the phrase, he who wins the war writes history or whatever. A lot of things that you probably didn't know was created by black folk has been erased by 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it's been erased. So you gonna have to do like a, a good level of deep research to actually know that certain things do come from black people. And using semantics is just a way to, you know, cause more of a not a cleanse, but like of like of a diminishing. And it all ties into anti blackness, apparently. I don't I don't really like using the word anti black. But yeah. So if any of y'all are trying to fix your lips and saying what comes from what, like if I if I ever see anybody talk about Elvis being this, this, that, and the third, I swear I will stab myself in the neck. If I ever see anybody say anything, or when I hear people talk about how rock and roll wasn't created by a black person or the genre, let me let me stop. I took I took a lot of music history, so maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but listen, you can't tell a horse to neigh. Hey, Woo. home run, man, home run. Yeah, I can't stop the feeling. Woo. I love this song. Home run. I'm starting to think that some of the songs that I do love so much is just because like it gives me a sense of like comfort in my blackness. I mean, hey, we could just go up to the go, just go to the part where you jump up to the top, LeBron. <laughs> so Bring the fire, the hey, shining through the city with a little funkin' soul. Hey, hey, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In all honesty, it's gonna be a lot of Michael Jackson shit in here. Or just like Michael Jackson esque type things, and I'm with it. This song might be my favorite TXT song. I'm gonna be honest, cause that little dance part that. <laughs> oh. Hey. Come back I can see you coming back for more. Coming back for more. Hey. Oh, this is such a good song, man. Ah. What? Oh. Oh. I like some new age, new jack swing, man. Hold on. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Okay. It's just like the thing is, it's like it's so amazing. Like it's so amazing. I have a lot of things. I'm, you know, what? I don't give a fuck if y'all get mad. And I'm getting blackity black, black, black. First off, I love music and I love niggas and I love how far we've come with niggas and music. You know what I'm saying? Because we come so far to where like certain pieces are ingrained in certain types of music. Like you can see it now. Like the drill sound, like that type of sound. You can, you it, of course, it's like very prevalent now, but think about like you get that revamped 10 years from now. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays, we're literally watching, a, like, let me try to have an analogy. I grew up on early 2000s basketball Gilbert Arenas, LeBron James, Brandon Roy, before D Rose and them. Now we're in like three versions of, like, you know how like we used to say, Oscar Robinson, an old ass nigga, he ain't do shit for real. Bill Walton, not Bill Walton, well, Bill Walton, Bill Russell, old dude, you know, respect to Bill Russell. Now it turned to, we done with the 80s. We done with the 80s. Who's Clyde Drexler? Michael Jordan, we done with the 90s. Now we in the 2000s. We about to, LeBron is about to retire, bro. Like, I just like seeing, like, the, 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 just things just, just just playing out the way it should, like going out gracefully and still is being put in what it is today. I like hearing stuff like I love hearing stuff like that. This is one of the things that I like about music. Because sometimes in the videos, y'all be hearing me like, ooh, what is that? That sound like this. Or that sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Or when I heard um after like and I went on that tangent to what did I was oh God, come on, let's keep going. Ooh. 
and I'm not even about to say like this is completely stolen from black culture because like in music you you're supposed to just add on to things, put your own spin on it, you know. So it's like, of course, this has their own spin on it. This has the K-pop spin on it. But it's just thinking like, ooh, this sound like this. I like this because it sound like this. But I do appreciate what y'all got going on. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. Hey. There's gonna be a lot of SM songs in here, huh? Them horns, bro. Them, them horns. I kind of wish I played uh, trumpet in school instead of damn alto saxophone. <laughs> I don't know why I want that big ass instrument. Hey! Hey! Oh my god. This remind. What is that song? This reminds me of the. Dun dun bum 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 um, um, like in the early 2000s, even though this came out in the 2000s, but it was like that time in music where it was hella cymbals and snare, like right in this song, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it said, but the, but the way that her company or whoever saw what black women was doing back in the day and then gave it to her is crazy. Like this is literally copy and paste. Hey, man. Hey, man. Shout out to black women, man. Shit, man. Hey, Nick, we all come from Africa, kind of. <laughs> they call it the motherland for the reason. I'm having fun today. I really like how they're like doing this new Jack Swing thing and turning it into revamping this. I never thought that they would even do this. I thought this would be like a very lost art in music. I really did. Ah! Oh my god, this is nice! Y'all can hear the scratching in the back. Like, this my... Oh, yes! Uh, okay. Ugh. Oh, that's a good song right here. We gonna add this to my playlist while this go. What the fuck? Ooh. Oh, now that's it. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, I just got I just got lost in the sauce for a second. Sugar coat AB6. I just got lost in the sauce. Now this shit hard. Yeah, there we go. Put this in my playlist. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. You know, you know what's one thing that's like a like a nice little heads up or like a like a step up? That nigga Bruno Mars. That nigga Bruno Mars. I love Bruno Mars so much, bro, because he bro, he really be getting down into it when it comes to like it's not cultural appropriation. Like with Bruno Mars, I feel like it's more appreciation because one, he is he is just like a music genius when it comes to shit like just music in general but it's like 
he pays homage. He pays homage. And that big boom of like 24 karat magic, like that whole, like that's, sorry, that was my, that was my favorite, that's my favorite album by him. I'm not really, I like Silk Sonic, but that's cool. But 24 karat magic, you know what I'm saying? Like that part there was, I, I feel, I feel as though that was like one of the, an underrated an underrated John returning song, like a music turn, like a like a like one of them joints that like turn time. You know those 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 timeless. It's a timeless album, but not that many. I don't think that many people really talk about it like that. It kind of feels like it came and went, but at that time, that shit was twenty four carry magic in the end. <laughs> like that whole bop and flow is just oh yes. Ugh. Cause you can kind of hear it here. Hey, hey. Yeah, I can't get into the sense this year. I really want to kick you with your maybe. I really want to kick you with your. Oh, I like this. I didn't know it was this much like New Jack swinging this in K-pop now, or just like in general. I love this song. I'm a buy me a, I'm I'm a I'm a buy me a synthesizer machine. I need to start making music again. I need to move and turn this into like an office office instead of a bedroom office. This got me mad inspired, bro. Holy hell. Oh. oh Hey! Oh my god, yes. Talk sexy. Hey! Hey! Ooh. <laughs> Bro, I love this song so fucking much, guys! Like the thing, uh, th the thing about like just Nickus, I love it so much because like it's not only just it's not only just American, you know what I'm saying? You got I'm a piano, you got Afrobeat, you got Brazilian music, you got like um, what's it called? Calypso, like bro, you it's, it's just so many different cultures, and I'm I'm I don't know, like I'm I, I'm just I love culture. I love culture. I really love culture. But I also like nigga shit. You know? But I love culture. This this song is perfect. And the fact that people were trying to like trying to make this make this something that it wasn't. And then Tyler was like, bro, chill out. It's good. Shout out to them. My heart got warmed. My heart got warmed. <laughs> Hey. You know I ain't showing a thing. That's my swagger. 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 Old Spice. Ooh. You know I ain't showing a thing. That's my swagger. Swagger. Mm. What the fuck? See that Peter Patter. Hey. Grenade? 
want it, want it, want it, yeah. This shit was hard when I heard this for the first time. I think this was my first NCT song ever. I don't remember, and I don't feel like going back in my channel, but I loved this song when I when I heard it. I loved this. Hey. What? Do it on that. Woo. Here we go. Hey. Don't this shit Like bro you can't tell me that that shit did, Like that part right there That shit don't remind you Don't this shit make a nigga wanna uh, uh, that, Like come Yo, AB6? I need to listen to more AB6. You mean to tell me that they're using talk boxes too? Yo, what's wrong with them? Oh my god. I can hear the I can hear it in the back. Hey! I miss BTS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of it cool, one of it love. Why are you saying love? Baby, I'm on it. Nobody knows. Yo, no, Kiss of Life, they're, they're, Kiss of Life is the group to watch out for. Kiss of Life is the group to watch out for. They are something. They are one of them groups that be undergrounded. I'm like, bro, you y'all got it. Y'all, y'all, y'all got yourself something good. Y'all got yourself something good. I'm telling you. I wish for nothing but success from these ladies. Cause what? Like it's the it's the it's the and it added on with this with the with the um the brass instruments and with the nice flow tell us nobody knows like those is like that type of flow and that type of like beat work it's like when you try to make a beat you know what i'm saying like there's like a beat that you make that like that just goes into your head and you're like oh i need to make a beat all right Hey, 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 you just add on that. Boom, mm, mm, boom, mm, 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 mm. I guess one of them motherfuckers. Yes, what? That's right. You just want to waste my time. 
This is my favorite song off this album. I hope that Yoshi Fied puts in uh, at least one of the songs from Key's Good and Great. That 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 album is so amazing. Like it's so good. Like. <laughs> you just wanna test my patience, but you can never take my pride. But now you know that I'm just dangerous. Girl, it's dangerous. So, 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 so dangerous. <laughs> really? Oh, well, this is a this is a wrench. I wouldn't have expected this. Okay. Hmm. Come on, come on. That's the mic, that's the mic, that's the mic. This shit hard, cuz. Wow, I didn't okay. Was I wouldn't have I wouldn't have put future perfect. I probably would have put uh, Paradox Invasion. Huh, okay. I like the learn. That's the mic, that's the mic, that's the mic. Oh my You stay, you still, you stay, you stay. <laughs> hey. Oh, the old Yes. What? I didn't know how much I was gonna love XG. Like I was really, I was really, really surprised when that uh, cipher thing came out. I did not expect that I would love XG this much. Yeah, it's the it's one of them things. I don't really know, like I don't know too too much about like the eighty synth wave and what happened with that. Um, like I do, I don't know, and I really love eighty synth wave. You already know if you didn't know, yo, I love the eighties. I'm wearing this tracksuit. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to say, but. Yeah, that I don't I don't know where that actually came from. I'm gonna do some more research on that. I just love that shit. Well, cause it reminds me of like Prince and all that shit, but dang. These horns. Woo! This song is so beautiful. Telling you that nigga, that nigga Bruno Mars really caused a renaissance in music. Like we, we got it. Like we can't just be that 24k magic fucking album cut. <laughs> hey, this was from Tanache. Dead ass? Are you fucking kidding me? 
Yo, Tanache really got them shits. Yo, Tanache is really fucking amazing. Like, a lot of times I've learned that Tanache has a hand in a lot of things. Cause shout out to her, son. Oh my goodness. That's fucked up. <laughs> they saw what Blackman was doing and wanted to do it too. Which is fine, but like credit where you get that idea from. Oh! Oh! We gotta, we gotta admit, back in, back in those times, they were literally stealing from niggas. Like, come on, they were stealing from, <laughs> and they thought we would notice. I know where I know where this is. <laughs> this is this is a very famous um this music video set is very famous. It's in a lot of it's in a lot of it's bat no, it's this it's famous because this was in the dark night. This is the dark night's like I think garage. That's what this is. <laughs> oh. I only say that because The Dark Knight is like my favorite movie. Batman is my favorite superhero, and I want to record a music video here, or at least have a scene here. Mm -hmm. What the fuck did I tell you? What did I tell you? Like, but this one, sorry. This one was, this one blew me away when I found out this sample. This blew me away. Oh. Fine, we already know. It's fine. I shout out to this. We know. But let's enjoy this song. It's deeper than the pain. But it's deep in DNA. Top. <laughs> Here we go with that drill shit, man. And the thing about that is that this drill shit is is a multi-layered analysis. It's multi-layered because the beats were beats from the UK. The drill scene came from Chicago, and the niggas in Brooklyn just just got they. Oh, oh, I love this. I love this. I oh my god, yes. I'm really loving like the different renditions of this new Jack Swing thing. Ooh. 
I but just had to do the dance. Here we go. I thought people forgot about this song. This was in like my one, uh, best songs of 2020 something, whenever the fuck this came out. Oh, this song. Oh shit. Yep, more, more drill. Hold up. This is my first BTS comeback. <laughs> like, this is my first BTS comeback for real. I came in the middle of Dynamite era. And I was, I remember waiting for this shit. This was so much fun. I gotta check out their Valorant song. I wonder if mm, listen to the sound. Is it your poison? It must be amazing to like. I wonder how Michael Jackson feels wherever he's at. It must feel amazing to see you, your aura, your style, all this shit imprinted in music today throughout the world like i'm the listen if it comes down to prince and michael jackson i'm choosing prince but i'm not about to i'm not about to just deny that this nigga is not the goat like real spill i've i've never seen this much influence spread out this wide like this is crazy and it's and it's like and it's it's subtle too. It's subtle. Of course, you got the 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 high water with the white socks and, and the shoes, but then you got like the silhouette with the varsity jackets, varsity jackets with the with the with the tight pants, and then uh, like it's it's oh my gosh. I wonder how you feel, bro. Y'all think. I don't know, man. I, I kind of think God got up, got up him doing, like, they record music together up in heaven or something. Like, that, like that's like, yo, like, that. <laughs> hey. My goodness. Damn. I remember when he died, too, bro. Like, that's, Nick. Oh, my God. Really inspiring, bro. Magic. 
It's something. It's something about that little that like so, that song is so like uplifting. Like you can't be mad listening to this song. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't. You can't. You you can't. <laughs> like this is one of the songs that come into like the psychology of a person. Muddy Water. Hmm. Oh, do they know about Muddy Waters? I don't know. This is our flow to step off the show. This is oh whoa, wait a minute. If I if I find out if I find out that anybody in Stray Kids who is in, involved in this song knows about Alchemist or like the Griselda Wave or just all these type of beats of boom bap hip hop, I am going. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. If y'all, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, search up the Alchemist producer, and then search up Griselda. You can go into any one of them. Specifically, West Side Gun. Listen to West Side Gun. And um, listen to um, Pray for Paris, that album. If look at Listen to some of them songs and just come back to this and you'll be like, that's that real hip hop shit, nigga. Ah. Ooh, this baby had. Ooh. This is our flow to step off the show. This is our flow to Word? I heard you. Woo. Hey. Hit it. Yup. Show when the die, show when the run it, run it, die, show when the die, show when the run it, run it, die, show when the die, show when the run it, run it, die. I want to run it, run it, die, show when the die, show when the run it, run it, Oh, this is an underrated song. Yeah. I didn't hear that. She really did that? Was that Harvey that did that? Did Harvey just. Oh, shit. They want to know if it's a hit or a mess. Shoot for the stars and we land on the heads. Don't mess with the tipping, you know it's the last. We got to know that I love the heads. And she, yeah, we born with the X sheet. New chapter, next scene. Go hard, effortlessly. Effortlessly. And she, yeah, we born with the X sheet. New chapter, next scene. Go hard, effortlessly. Don't test me. This is a triple layered. This is triple layered. This is triple layered. You want to know why? Because it's giving uh, Justin Timberlake. And guess the fuck what? 
<laughs> Yo, man, JT, he probably still has a black set. He probably still got one. He probably still got one. This is a multi-layered answer. <laughs> it's because JT be acting black. <laughs> I wanna see it in motion in 3D. Check it down now. In motion in 3D. That's it. I'm not gonna lie, this was fire. Ooh. Ba -da -bam 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 -bam. You ain't even had to do that, gang. Well, it's more intricate than just black Americans. Puerto Ricans too. They they had a hand in it. They, they definitely had a hand at it, not gonna lie. Man, ain't nobody wish me no black history, happy black history month, nigga, and that's fine. That's cool. You wonder why? Oh, shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's, it's April. <laughs> But nah, bro, it's actually amazing to just, like, feel a taste of, like, the pulse that black folks have on music, specifically K-pop. I love this shit. And I know I could, I, I'm safe to say that K-pop would be nothing without black folks and black culture. That's going to be the title. If y'all made it to the end of this, argue with your mama. I'm not arguing with shit. <laughs> you tripping, cuz. You was using you tripping if you think otherwise. This was good. I hope you guys have a good Saturday. This was really good. What are some songs that you think? Let me know in the comments down below. What, what are some songs that you think were inspired by black folk? Let me know. Happy Black History Month. <laughs>